hello friends welcome back to my channel so if you have seen my previous tutorial on Prometheus we have spoke about how to install uh, Prometheus alert manager right and also we have seen how to set up our Prometheus YAML file to interact with the alert manager and also we have seen how to create alert rules so what we have not done in that tutorial was like how to send this alert uh, to any medium right like email or slack or any other method right so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to see how we can uh, do the prometheus email alerting so we will see you know as part of this tutorial we will see how in the prometheus and alert manager what configuration we have to do for the email to be sent to our email address so what we will be using is we'll be using the gmail configuration so if you have your own uh, smtp server or if you have your own email uh, setup please make use of that in this tutorial okay so before i start i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel kindly like this video share and comment so keep supporting me so that you know as a community we can learn more things and we can grow together so i have a machine sendos machine in which the prometheus is installed and also the node exporter and also the alert manager okay so in the previous tutorial i have used two machine one for for the prometheus node, node exporter and also uh, another machine just as a node exporter okay so in this tutorial i will use only one machine because i just want to show you how we can uh, generate the email right so if you see you know uh, let me show you what we have done in the previous tutorial so you can those who have not uh, uh, seen my previous tutorial please go and have a check how uh, we have set up the prometheus.yaml file okay so uh, the first thing is like prometheus.yaml file so if you have seen like this configuration uh, we have in the alert manager configuration right we have set up the localhost 9093 because uh, my alert manager is running on this machine right and uh, also we have set up the rule file from where which it has to rule, which is called alert dot uh, rules dot yaml right and uh, these are uh, the previous tutorial like where I have, we have set up the node exporter right so i would request you to please go and have a look on those uh, tutorials like if you have not set up uh, prometheus before so do that first and then you can check this tutorial okay so now you see like there is a file called alert.rules.yaml right so if i read this file you can see the alert uh, rules which we have configured right the name uh, alert.rules and in what, what cases we have to create the alert right so instant down how host out of memory host uh, cpu load right disk space so these are the four alert categories we have created okay so all these details you know i have it in my github location so you can uh, have a look there okay so let me start the prometheus first okay so i'm going to start prometheus okay let me also start the node exporter Okay, so the node exporter is also started. Okay, so let me uh, don't do. Uh, I'm not going to start the alert manager now. Okay, let me show you uh, how we can configure the alert manager .yaml. So let me access the Prometheus first on the web browser. Okay. So if you access the Prometheus using the IP address and port nine zero nine zero. Uh, you have the alerts right so four alerts we have created as per the alert dot rules and you can see one is active because you know one of my node exporter is down right so if i go to target you can see one of my node exporter is down okay so that's why the alert is uh, high or active so now what we need to do is we need to send this alert to uh, an email right so let me go back to the machine okay so let me go to the folder alert manager so inside alert manager we have a file called alert manager.yaml right so we have seen this in the previous tutorial but i have told like we are not going to edit in the previous tutorial right so now if you see this is how the default file look like right so go global uh, settings for result time audit five minutes right and also we have a uh, 
some root right sure and also there is a receiver called webhook so it's the name of the receiver called webhook it can be any name okay and but uh, if you see below that it have a receivers and inside that you use the same name webhook and you are giving the configuration right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this file okay and I'm going to create a receiver uh, called email notification okay and I will use the same here and I'm going to give the uh, email configs uh, for that okay so let me clear out the screen okay so let me edit this file let manager.yml okay and uh, I'm going to change this one Let me change this to email underscore notifications okay and I'm going to call the same thing here okay so uh, these things uh, I, I will delete because it's not a webhook config it's a email underscore config okay and uh, let me delete these things as well so it's not needed because we need to enter some other configuration so okay so before i do it here let me show you uh, you know how to write this in a sublime text or text editor okay so this is the uh, file okay which we are going to use here okay so you see the global uh, uh, time out we, you can make it less than five minutes as well okay so if you want you can change this five minute to one minute so if i go there you can change that as well okay and uh, this group by and everything if you want you can keep it or if you don't want if you want to simplify you can do it in this way also okay you can directly go for a route with the receiver name and uh, the receiver name uh, under here okay and the email config so under the email config what we need to give is we need to give uh, two email address okay and from email address okay and also we need to give uh, the smtp address for since it's a gmail i'm going to use smtp.gmail.com okay and you need to authorize the email to send uh, the email right so you need to have a username right and uh, the identity and the password okay so the password is going to be you know the email password but you know what i would suggest you is like rather than giving your email password uh, you create a app password in gmail okay so let me show you how you do that now in gmail if you log into the gmail account and if you go to manage your google account you will get into a screen like this okay and you'll have on the left side like home personal info security and option right so you need to click on the security option so there is uh, that is the place where we can create the app password okay so once you click on this uh, security option you will have an option for uh, uh, two-step uh, verification and a password right so if you see I have one password already created so you can click over here it will ask you to log in again okay then you can uh, create an app password so uh, you may not have a Prometheus application there so you can just give a name like Prometheus alerting or something and you create a password so you will give get a password from there so you make a copy of it then you can use that into this um, uh, script what we are doing okay so what you can do is you can use that app password here so that means uh, you you are giving the only the password of the app which you have created okay so it's almost like you are allowing the app to access your gmail uh, the full access right okay so don't uh, uh, openly give that password anywhere or don't share it with anyone okay so you keep it uh, uh, only for your usage okay so now, uh, now what we have to do is we need to uh, copy this content okay and uh, we need to uh, put it in under the email okay so that is all we need to do so this is the whole uh, file okay so I'll be sharing uh, the whole file in again in my github location so you can copy it from there okay so this is the inhibit rules which I'm keeping it here so to give the severity status of the alert okay so if you change your emails with your emails which you want to receive the email also to send okay so and also the password which you create from the app password 
so if you see like you know the full details we have given here so this is for the email uh, config right so change uh, with your details okay so you can copy this content from my github location so let me save this okay so we have the file saved okay so alert management.yaml okay so this is the complete file so i think that's all we need then we can start the alert manager now okay so let me start the alert manager okay so you can see the alert manager started listening okay and uh, let me check it here okay so we have also one instant down alert and it's uh, firing right so i think it's already done now okay so I need to go and check my Gmail so let's just give me a few minutes as you can see I started receiving the alerts so you can see it has already sent few alerts to me so uh, you can see firing one is for uh, the same uh, IP address okay and the two is for the second node exporter which uh, I have also closed the node exporter which I was running so let me show you that so now if you see like I have uh, two instances down right so I have uh, closed the other node exporter which was running so targets you see the two node exporters are down right so that's why I have uh, two alerts uh, coming uh, one for the one uh, the node exporter which was running on the other machine uh, this is the IP address right and this one is from local host okay so you see that uh, you know, the first one shows the IP address 129.9.1.0.0 right and this one is the local host okay so it, this is how the content of the email look like right so the alert uh, its name is called instant down right because we have set up the alert name as instance down for the node export right and it's a CVRT is critical right so it's uh, giving you a message like uh, which endpoint is down right so if it's for some uh, high uh, CPU usage or uh, the memory usage or what we have configured other parameters if that is created you'll be getting the alert for that okay so that is great right so we are getting the email notifications now okay so that's what we wanted to do so if you have seen like you know we configured the whole uh, process now right the alert dot uh, manager dot yaml to uh, configure the receiver so this receiver what we are using the email config right and the prometheus.yaml to integrate with the alert manager and also we have created an alert room right so end to end if you relate all these tutorials like what we created the previous uh, sections if you relate all those things you have a complete uh, prometheus uh, system right you have prometheus running then you have a node exporter to collect data from uh, diff different metrics right then you have a uh, alert manager now we have configured the alert manager to send email as well as notification right so that's great right so you have a full monitoring system ready so that is all I wanted to show in this tutorial so I will share my github uh, location from where you can copy the contents okay for your uh, setting up so I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching so the only request from my end is kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, comment, uh, share this uh, videos with all your friends, colleagues who want to learn more about technical topics. Okay, so I appreciate your support.